Hello everyone, I hope you are having a good week and welcome to another video. Today I want to share with you something a bit different and it's about stamping on fabric. This is not going to be a sewing tutorial. I'm just going to share here the last coloring tools I have been trying to easily and effortless do this and I'm loving the results. In previous videos, I shared how to stamp on fabric with another black ink and as I was struggling to find another ink colors to do that, I start using acrylic paints. So there is another video as well I made using acrylic paints and I'm also going to link the video in the video description. There are some tips and tricks in those videos, so if you are willing to know how to stamp on fabric, it's worth it to have a look to those videos and check your different options. This year, Tonic Studios launched to the market their new hybrid inks. They come in six different colors, and behind the ink pad on the label, it says they are ideal to stamp on card, glossy surfaces, and fabric. You need to heat set them for them to be permanent, and I have been trying them for a while, and all I can say is that they provide better image definition and durability after washing. So I will be using the black Nubo Hybrid Ink and also a large stamp by Simon Says Stamp called Cora Background Stamp. When I was stamping on cardstock with this stamp, I noticed that it has a hexagon shape in the center, so it was perfect for me to stamp my own quilting fabric. As this stamp is large and it also has a lot of detail, I'm going to be using the Team Holtz stamping platform to be able to multi-stamp the image on my piece of fabric so that I get a better impression. I'm going to do this at least three times and I'm going to apply a lot of pressure. And I'm stamping on blackout lining fabric. There is a link on the video description you can check to make sure what kind of fabric is this one. After stamping, I iron the fabric to heat set the ink and also to get the fabric ready for cutting and sewing. Then I cut the hexagons using a rotary cutter and a metallic ruler like so. Now it's time to add colors and I'm going to be using Nuvo Creative Pens to do this. I'm absolutely happy with the performance of these pens on fabric because the ink doesn't bleed at all. And if you are thinking in an easy, affordable, and beautiful way to add colors to stamped images on fabric, you won't regret to get these pens. They are amazing. I also think that this video and the pictures I'm sharing in my blog today are going to tell more than myself about the coloring results with these pens. They are dual tip pens, so in one of the ends they have a fine tip to reach small details on images and they also have a broad tip that help you to add colors to larger images or backgrounds. The application is smooth and the color is vibrant. I'm not doing a perfect coloring, I'm just going to apply one layer of color and it took me 10 minutes to finish all the pieces for my project today. I was making a small experiment with water, but sadly the camera went completely blur. But what I wanted to show you is that after stamping with the Nuvo Hybrid Ink and applying a little bit of the Nuvo Creative Pens on that fabric, I just put the fabric on water, even before heat set the ink, and the ink didn't bleed or wash off. Another thing I have been doing recently with my stamped projects on fabric is that I'm embellishing with Nuvo drops. So after sewing and after doing the whole process, I just add some Nuvo drops like that. 
And I think they add a really nice finishing touch. If you make a mistake in the Nuvo Drops application, like I just did there, you can use a brush to leave the excess of product on the fabric, like so, and you will be ready to keep going. And this is the fabric finish. It's ready to be used on any sewing project. I was thinking initially to create an applique for my daughter trousers or also for a dress or a skirt. Then I remember that I have a couple of purses like this one you are seeing in the screen. And I bought them from a charity shop because I really wanted to reuse the handles or any metallic fitting they have. So what I did was putting the handbag completely apart like you can see there. This is a process which is really quick, it's not that difficult. And once I have this apart, I got all the metallic bits for my new project. And more importantly, I got the pattern. So all I did was cutting the pieces of fabric according to this pattern. And then I have to rethink how to put the bag together because this was made out of cardboard so it's completely different than sewing with interfacing and also with lining. I'm also upcycling my husband's jeans. I got these pieces from the legs of the trousers. So I also wanted to give you this upcycling idea. You can make a purse in so many different ways or just a little pouch or many, many other things with this stamp and blackout fabric. There are many, many tutorials to sew bags online. And also, if you don't want to make the hexagon pieces because they might be a little bit tricky for you to put together, you can just stamp the whole square or the whole background and you can get a square pieces and larger pieces. But I really like the way these hexagons looks together. So I decided to make it this way, the easy way for Vivi. <laughs> and that's all for today. Thumbs up if you like this idea and do not forget to subscribe to my channel or visit my blog for more ideas and inspiration. You can also follow me on Instagram, Pinterest or join my Facebook group. All the links are in the video description. Thank you very much for watching and happy crafting. Bye!